Hello everyone and welcome to Panda on PC. It has been a good long while since I've done this YouTube thing. Um, I used to do it many, many moons ago. Sort of fell out of love with it and now we're back. So, um, I'm notoriously bad at playing hard video games. Souls likes anything with difficulty basically. Pretty bad. I've completed Dark Souls 1 through 3 and Bloodborne. Bloodborne obviously being the easiest but I'm still not good at them. I've played through the demo of Lies of P, um, and I thought, you know what, as a first foray back into YouTube that I just randomly decided to do because, um, well, I'm a fool basically and I'm a, a glutton for pain, um, I will try and do a Iron Man permadeath run of the demo with a new character. Um, again, I have prefaced this by saying I am absolutely terrible at uh, difficult video games. So I'm not expecting this to go very well. I did struggle with the last boss a number of times and I didn't beat the first boss first time either. Can you hear so this first run may be all of four minutes. Let's see. I'll, I'll set a little countdown timer as soon as we get in game and see if I last more than four minutes. Um, if I die fairly quickly, I'll keep going. I'm going to at least try and beat the first boss without dying. That's my goal. I don't think for a, for, for a second I'm going to get anywhere close to the second boss. In fact, there's, there's a big tough dude in the first area that I think I'm going to die to straight away anyway. Um, but we'll see. So, we're in Lies of P. If you've not heard of this game... You most probably have at this point if you're a fan of Souls Likes and somehow you've managed to uh, find this video, which is uh, would be astounding to me. But if you haven't heard of Lies of P, it is a Souls Like, and um, you basically pay as pay. You pay. You don't pay anything. Well, you you pay for the game when it comes out, I suppose. But you play as um as Pinocchio. So you are Geppetto's little little creation. Um, you look like a little boy because obviously in the classic tale um, he was a puppet who looked like a boy. I mean not this realistic um, but yeah you've got this cool little arm. Um, it has different abilities that you can you unlock further arms in, in, in gameplay terms uh, with a normal swords like and yeah. Um, you have um, Gemini who is a little cricket who's in your little lantern. You light that up. And he does some little cool environmental things. Um, one of you only see one of them in this little short demo, but um, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, the game does a lot of things, or not a lot of things. It does some things differently than um, than your typical Souls bombs um, that I've not seen. I quite like. So the first playthrough I did, I played as this as strength because. Um, my brain um, in Souls Likes just goes for the biggest thing. So Dark Souls 1 through 3, um, it was always either a dragon tooth or a great hammer of some um, description that I would play with. Um, I'm not very good at dex builds. In Souls games, I'm not very good at magic builds. I always just go for the big whackers. That's what I played as through um, my first time playing through this demo, which I completed. I don't feel like I'm confident enough to try either of the other ones for a challenge run. Um, but, like I said, if I fail this one, I'll probably go back and do another one in the same video. Otherwise, it's going to end up being four or five minutes long. So, I mean, I've probably talked for more than four or five minutes at this point anyway. Um, I, eh. um, so, we'll, we'll go with strength. Um, we'll go with strength. If I fail on this playthrough... Um, or at least if I don't if I don't beat the first boss with this, I'll try one of the other ones, maybe balanced. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at dex builds, but if I've got somewhat of a grasp on strength, I should be okay. This game is mega loud, by the way. Um, oh, my headphones are mega loud. I've turned it down on the recording. I'm just turn the volume down. My headset here. There we go. Um, sorry, I'm not one of these cool people who uh, doesn't have a headset on the head when they record. Um, I just don't have that available to myself. So this game is a slightly different to your normal Souls-like games, where dodging is a thing, but you're much better off. Turn it up a little bit too far there. Um, you're much better off 
um, blocking or parrying attacks. Um, obviously parrying is a big thing in, in Souls games anyway, but I mean the way I always learn and, and managed to progress through Souls games was by dodging, dodge rolling. It's not massively effective in this game. You do have a roll, you do have a side set dodge when you're locked on to enemies. Um, but typically what I have found is um, blocking when they come in um, is the best policy. So um, the way it works is um, as with novel Souls games, you press L1 um, and that does your little, oh I guess actually it's LT isn't it in Souls games um, to parry button. You press your parry button um, and it does a, a couple of neat things. So if you parry at the right time it does um, what's called a perfect parry. That has a chance to break the enemy's weapon. Some enemy's weapons are tougher and they require a few more perfect parries to destroy them. Um, some like these little dudes normally, these little police dudes, will normally half their bat on in, in one block which is pretty cool um oh no there's not one here there's one in the little bathroom who's hidden right around the corner like a little bitch um but yeah so um what it does is that your health uh, our health bar sorry in the top left there if you don't dodge at the right time also if you don't block at the right time if you just hold block you see it goes down a little bit then if you do a perfect oh my god i knackered that if you um, if you saw it very very briefly, I'm just gonna kill him before I die. I was I, I did say I wasn't very good at these types of games. Um, oh, this by the way, what I just did there um, was uh, you see in the bottom right, just above where you've got Y, L, B, and Y, that shows your blade and your handle because you can actually customize your weapons. You can attach different blades to different handles. They have different um, effects. They give you different. Um, ways of attacking and whatnot um but weapon durability is also a massive thing so um you need to constantly be using your um left arm which has a grinder on it um and that allows you to repair your weapon durability there's no need for any any special items or anything like what, what i was saying though in the top left of your little health bar um if you block or get hit Sometimes it does the the Bloodborne thing where um, there's a bit is a lighter shade of red. Um, if you then block within that time, you will gain some of that meter back. So it's a way of getting health back without actively having to use health um, or healing items, which is pretty cool. Obviously, Bloodborne did the same thing, but attacking enemies rather than um, blocking them at the right time. But it's just another way of getting your... Um, health back. The game also does a, a cool little thing whereas when you're wandering around um, the more you attack enemies, you see a little pulse file um, that we've got on the left hand side there that we use, that's basically our Estus Flask. So the pulse files have a certain amount of charges but if you've used one, or normally when you've used not like, like all of them and you've got zero left in your um, capacity the more you attack enemies, it starts to recharge that vial bar. So you can end up, if you attack enough enemies, regaining some health potions or Estus Blasts or their whole pulse centers in this game. Um, for free, basically, just for kicking the shit out of enemies, which is pretty nice. Oh, hello. Sorry, I've just realized that they don't hold batons, they hold stop and go signs. Where they flip them around. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that the first time I played it. Um, anyway, yeah, so um, we're a puppet. All of the enemies that you face, barring one enemy in the demo, is a puppet. Um, and it, the, the story's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool. It's basically a thing called the Puppet Frenzy going on. Geppetto um, has invented all the puppets, essentially, and they're all going absolutely batshit crazy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to open this, so your typical souls like shortcut, bam, nice. So yeah, there's a, they're all going mental, um, got to kill them all. There's a decree, it's one of the four commandments, um, that puppets cannot lie, except we're Pinocchio, and Pinocchio can, can lie, as you'll probably be aware, unless you've been living under a rock. Um, and that leads to some interesting game choices. Okay. I did say there was an enemy that I struggled with. And it's this dude. A 
just trying to get him to the point where... Okay, there we go. We've staggered him. Oh, no, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so you can you can make enemies groggy. Uh, you basically stagger them. Um, and when you stagger them, you can do that cool little move where you just knock the living daylights out of them. I realised I did a swear earlier, so um, that's uh, this video um, never getting monetized in the future, if that was ever anything I was interested in doing, which I'm not. I just want to do this for fun. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. I was saying something. Anyway, um, we've got this little key. We are going to open this door. I've survived for longer than I expected to so survive for so far, so that is good. Welcome to Crap. Crap is the city that we play in, that we are trying to survive in. And just up ahead is a bonfire, or rather it's called a stargazer. Um, they're, they're bonfires. They're really weird though. Um, so the first one that you use, this one. This one um, works as you, you you would expect. So all your healing potions or pulse cells, they they all heal. Your health goes back up. Your stamina goes back up. You can level up with this one. However, once you get to our destination, which is Hotel Crat, um, you can no longer heal up at uh, heal up level up at the Stargazers. You have to. Um, speak to Sophia, who's the chick who's been um, speaking to us. Um, it's an interesting mechanic. I don't thoroughly agree with it. Um, I mean, I guess they, they're also trying to distance themselves, be a bit different to Soul Six, which is, is good, because they, you don't want to be the same as a FromSoft game. People are just going to just gonna draw comparisons. So people will draw comparisons anyway, because it is a Souls like. Um, but the idea behind not being able to heal, um, uh, heal? I've done it again. Uh, level up at your bonfires after you've unlocked some. I don't know. I, I mean, so Dark Souls 2 and 3, they did the same thing where you could only level up with the fire keepers. There's one of the jeweler uh, in 2 and. What was the base called in 3? It's in like that big round temple thing, wasn't it? I don't know what it's called. Um, but I ended up being basically the gateway to the. Um, uh, I forgot what it's called now. The, the boss. The dip. The, 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 who had like three stages and like wept and wept and wept. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, um, maybe they did it. I know Dark Souls 1 obviously you could level up with, um, with the bonfires. Maybe you couldn't level up with the bonfires in 2 and 3. After the first one, after you'd spoken to, um, I can't even remember what that last was called into now. We stood by the lighthouse most of the time. I went by it and just looked out to see if she wanted to jump for herself off a cliff. Um, because we were bugging her every two minutes. Um, anyway, I digress. I've just completely gone on a, a massive tangent there. Um, let's, uh, let's kill these dudes. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to the next Stargazer without going back to this Stargazer, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm just not overly confident in my abilities. There is a shortcut that we need to unlock this way, but we have to go, yeah, we have to go down that way first, so that is fine. We will murderize you. See you later in the gym. Hopefully when we drop down. He doesn't realise what there. He's gonna realise in a second. Let's quickly murderise this man. There we go. We have tenderised your spine. You can thank us later. Oh, he just didn't realise we were there. Oh, I missed the backstab. Never mind. He's dead. So you can you can probably see the um, the bloodborne inspiration. Um, in this game, uh, obviously Dark Souls games as well, but it is very much a, for me. It's it's more like Bloodborne than, than the, the Souls games. Um, and Elden Ring. I'm sure I skip the of this. Um, yeah, it, it, it feels very very Bloodborne inspired, which is not a bad thing. Um, oh oh god, there's a big dude here that I died to on my first playthrough about three times. Maybe this is the point where we 
we will die. Um, I'll heal. I will fix up my bleed because that was knackered. I've not got a good feeling about this. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, oh yeah, so um, certain enemies will do that. They will glow red. You cannot dodge those attacks. Oh, sorry. Is it dodge? Block? I can't remember. You've got to do perfect guard, I think. You can't do a normal... Um, you can't do a normal block because they'll just go straight through your, your guard. Oh! Okay, now I'm confused as to why I died to him the first time. Maybe it was just an experience. Probably was. Go down here, we'll be able to see where we're going. We'll see Hotel Crap. Which is that? That rhymed. I did not mean for that to rhyme. I'm so sorry. Um, right, where are we going? Um, okay, there's a little candlestick boy there, but you are annoying, so you can die. Oh, a headless candlestick dude. Oh, sh no, 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 no. Woo-wee! That was, um... That was needed very, very bad for my health. I'm dead. I'm not interested in what you have to offer. I completely knackered that. Repost. 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 Repost, I suppose. Repost. I was behind you. You silly doggy. You silly, silly doggy. Um, I guess you would call it a repost. We are about close to first boss. I'm definitely going to have to go back to the Stargate before we face him. Um, I cannot kill him without healing items. I would love to say I can, but I can't. <laughs> I, ju I just can't. I'm not good enough to kill the first boss without healing items, and we have literally zero right now. Um, oh, I've knackered that. I haven't, I haven't knackered that. That's okay. Oh my god, my timing is way off. It's way off. Sorry, dog. I mean, they're robot dogs. Robot dogs? Puppet dogs. So, I don't feel too bad about killing them. I always felt bad about killing the dogs in Dark Souls, where you have to kill dogs in any game, really. Modern Warfare 1, um, you all know the mission where you uh, kill. What's his name? What's his name? Makarov's dad. Is it Makarov's dad? We the the fifty cal mission. Um, the the sneaky mission. Oh, actually, technically it's the mission right after the sneaky mission because it's in two parts. But anyway, yeah, killing all the dogs on that one. All the uh, GSDs. Uh, that was not a fun experience. Um, the fortunate thing is right now. We can go back to the Stargate. We should be able to level up again. We should be able to skip past all of the enemies here so we don't waste any health items because, as you've already seen, I'm rubbish. And then we should be on to the boss. So what we're going to do is going to upgrade our motivity. And um, I feel like some of these are worthless. Maybe they're not. I generally do motivity and vitality. How many points have we got? We're not going to be able to go up again. So we're going to go up. Motivity and technique. That goes up by four. Okay, that goes to plus seven. Oh, that upgrades the arm. That one, I see. And this one is all altogether a better in terms of the other stats that it upgrades. So we're just going with that. We'll skip past you. Sorry, I have no interest in you. And I didn't turn my Steam notifications off. I'll have to blur that in post. Blur. Um, oh, why they've turned themselves back on? Because I did have them turned off. A powerful parade um, puppet is blocking the entrance. Oh. And that's the Generally, he will follow me to the start of the bridge, then he'll turn around. Go away. So please, still? be careful. Oh my god, they're still coming. They didn't do this last time. Go away. Go away! No! No, no! No, no! No, no, no! Oh, no! No! I needed that! I needed that bit of health for the, for the boss. <laughs> Hello there! Welcome to Karate. I, didn't I keep looking there over there because that's stream. where the stream, the streaming, the, the recording bit is. Um, instead, I should be looking at you. Um, 
I haven't been, I did say I haven't been in this for a while, so those are the other two weapons that we get if we go for the different um, play styles, is the Rapier and the Sabre Blade. I have only played through this once, so if I die here, that, I mean, that's fine to me if I die here, I, I feel like I've, um, I've come probably as far as I can in line with my skill level um, to not die first time. This could be the end of the run as soon as we um, go through here. Let me just make sure there's nothing in our infantry that is going to be usable. Course, we didn't pick up any amulets. We didn't pick up a defence part. It's fine. Increase our weight, increase our defence. Usable items. Anything here going to be of any use? I didn't try throwing items in the last one. My last playthrough, so maybe that'll be helpful. Let's open the door, and you get to witness this. big boy. He's an angry little boy. He's pretty cool. I like the designs of pretty much all of the enemies in this game, actually, to be fair. Okay. Okay, so the Grovals, or at least the Thermites, are pretty handy against this dude. Oh, that was a miscue, Richard. Oh! And now you all know my name! Oh my god. I have lost my mind. I think I did this badly the first time I played. Well, yeah. I didn't go for that. This is bad for me. I've not been as good as I should have been. Oh, that was bad. did try blocking that, I don't think you can block um, a 12 foot puppet um, I think that's in the, uh, in the game. Oh dear. It's not going well for me. Oh no! No no! I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh! We blocked it! Oh god. Uh. No! <laughs> oh. Okay. That was um, Lies of P. <sighs> I think, like, recording, I think. I think I've just seen it's around about the 22, 23 minute mark. <sighs> Couldn't even kill the first boss. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you uh, want to do all the usual things, I'm not going to ask you to do it. Um, it's there. But uh, have a lovely day. And hopefully um, we'll see you back on the channel on another video. In a bit.